Yeah, I wouldn't eat this stuff even if I was in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Oh hi! You're probably confused by today's upload and, well, to be quite honest with you, you should be. Come on! Take some damage! To help you with that confusion, I'm going to basically explain the entire premise of the video as easily and as simply as I can. Basically, what we're gonna do here is quite similar to a video series done by Settled, or even just like some of the videos done by Ambiguous Amphibian in various games, where you will take the premise of limiting your movement to a set of preset tiles, in which you get an extra tile every time you get a kill. This is a very cool premise in Project Zomboid and RuneScape and other games like that, but it doesn't exactly work in Fallout 4, because Fallout 4 doesn't have a grid-like system. In fact, it doesn't even have any tiles. So I was sat there one night thinking it would make a great video, but it possibly couldn't be done, and I just messaged Red Yeti, you know, the guy who makes my mods. To which he got back saying I was absolutely stupid, and then the next day, he got back with a fully functioning tile mod. Say hello to the Fallout 4 tiles, what is basically just a retextured floor prefab with a nice green outline to look like a tile. So cool, we have the mod made, that's step one. Step two is setting the rules. And to be honest, I think the rules are quite fair. First of all, the tiles have to be placed in somewhat of a grid-like formation. As long as the tiles are touching, or from a bird's eye point of view, they look like they're touching, then that's okay for me. Also, I can't just pick up a tile once it's placed. If a tile is put down, I can't pick it back up because then I would just simply have two tiles and I'd be able to finish the game just by juggling them. On top of this, if I want to access an interior cell, all I have to do is put down the tiles by the front entrance and as long as I don't come out the other side where there is no tiles, I'm a-okay. This is simply because interior cells wouldn't function if I had to put down tiles literally everywhere. And last but not least, I have to start the challenge run with 100 tiles so it's at least feasible that I can complete the game because in order for this challenge run to actually work, I need to be able to leave Sanctuary in order to, you know, farm kills for tiles because otherwise I'd be stuck in Sanctuary with roughly 10 bugs that don't respawn. And with that being said, I took the standard special stats of having high endurance, high intelligence for extra health and extra experience while playing the game, and then ventured out into the wasteland. The challenge basically started as soon as my wife was killed and I left Vault 111 with 100 tiles in hand and one mission. Today, I'll be trying to get to Diamond City. That's our first tile. So these tiles are not gonna be stuck together, for people that don't know, uh, because I they, they don't work that way, because we need to be able to go up and down. Okay, like that. This is a very stupid concept. I am fully aware about how stupid this concept is and that people think this is dumb. I get it. It is a stupid concept. I think it's, I think it's funny and I think you guys might enjoy it. So now we need to get on the opposite side of the river at Lego City, Sanctuary. We need to get on the opposite side of the river, okay? That is it. That's all we gotta do. It shouldn't take us too long, but we'll see. Uh, and if, if the uh, mod breaks and I have to, you know, do some hot fixing, that's also fine. If I happen to step off a tile, it's not the end of the world, but the, the the whole premise is I need to be able to move backwards through the tiles so I can go like this, right? Why can't you go straight? Because it needs to be a set of stairs. I need to be able to maneuver back up, otherwise I won't be able to go back in Vault 111. So I have to make my way down slowly, otherwise this entire run is fraud. You guys don't want me to be a fraudster, do you? You guys want me to start my own NFT thing? Hmm? Uh, the XP isn't- I'm not supposed to be getting XP for building these, but whatever. We survive. We move on, we thrive. Ooh, also! There's a free tile in here. Watch this. You guys see that little guy? Boom. Extra tile. Uh, I do need to get the uh, the workshop, though. So let's do that real quick. Uh, hopefully, you guys get the premise of the video now. Okay, can I interact from there? Yeah! <laughs> let's go! All right, so now we can interact with things from that. I can act act actually access the workbench, which means we can scrap stuff now for resources. Oh, can I grab this? I can. Let's go! You can carry a bench and use it as storage. I can. I can take that bench wherever I want. Also, I need to build a bed. <laughs> this is my life now. You guys like my little home? This is my bed. We. This is where I sleep, sit, rest, contemplate life. And this is my workshop where I get to upgrade my weapons so they can have a longer barrel so I have more range. Also, we're gonna we're gonna make sure to do a drive-by of this little house here because this little house potentially has free blowflies in it, which means free more tiles. <laughs> so 
so after finally clearing out all the insects and sanctuary, I decided to head southeast across the river to make my way towards a spawn point. I'm not talking about Red Rocket because the mole rats there don't actually respawn. Instead, there are mole rats situated just a little bit east that actually have a respawn rate of every day. So we're heading over that way to make sure to kill those guys off so we can constantly farm them for tiles. And also, while you watch me build this bridge across the river, you should subscribe to the channel. And if you already are subscribed, check out the memberships tab. We recently just opened it up and I think you guys aren't going to be disappointed. Hell yeah! Thank you for watching the challenge run. That is us. We have finished the challenge run. No, now uh, we need to go respawn the enemies. So like I said, uh, enemies respawn every day. It takes a week for enemies to respawn naturally. I've changed that to a day. Uh, and interior cells refresh every week instead of every 20 days. What happens if you step off a tile? If I step off a tile, I mean, what am I supposed to do? Just end the stream? If I step off a tile, I just jump back on. And we just go, okay, oopsie. I mean, I could do like a, should I gift a sub every time I step off a tile? I can do that. I should be able to go back to my bed, save, like sleep for a day. And then they should, there should be a dog and a rad stag that spawns at the bottom of that hill. Like, like was before. Getting out of sanctuary is going to take 10 hours. If this works, getting out of sanctuary should only take a couple hours. But if it doesn't work, it's going to take us ages. Oh my God, they're dodging me. No Codsworth. There should be three in that house, but whatever. We got two tiles. Don't think this respawning mod is working because the red stag is still dead there. I can kind of see it there. There's a bunch of mole rats. I saw one there. I sh the oh, something's coming towards me. Get out of here. Jesus Christ. It's going to be sick when you have a sniper plus floating bridge over the entirety of downtown. That's what I'm thinking. Once I get to the point where I can have enemies respawning at a good rate and I can actually start like farming them, uh, it'll be as simple as just like walking around, killing people and then putting down more tiles and unlocking the entirety of the map. I mean, this is a really cool mod. And I think that if you think this is going to be boring, then you're probably still, you're too stuck in the idea of the early game. The late game of this idea is really fun. And the fact that I have to use the tiles in like a convincing manner well, is only going to restrict me more. What ending are we going for? I don't know if we could end the game at this point. This could last me all the way up till Starfield. Can you just build a beacon for settlers and just kill them as they come? Yes, I could do that. That is a really good idea. If I ever get the resources for it, I will do such a thing. So I need crystal, ceramic. Oh, <gasps> God damn it, man. I can put that on one generator. So that's good. I just need two ceramic and two, and two crystal. That's all I need. Two crystal and two ceramic and we can start recruiting people. Oh, it respawned! They respawned! The shame killing them is really hard. I got, I got one tile. But the most important metric from this isn't the ragstag or the dog. It's the it's the mole rats. If I can get the mole rats to consistently fight with me, poggers. Next issue is ammo. Yep, I know. I need to either get crystal or I need to get 10 millimeter ammunition. One of the two. But for now, I can probably just... If I get f close enough to the, to the mole rats, I should just be able to engage with them without shooting at them. Yeah, I need to get over there. That's where the basement is. I said that's what we use our tiles for. Yeah, I don't think the ragstag is worth killing. That, that was like all my ammunition. <laughs> the problem is there's also, there's also like raiders that spawn over that hill. If Jobbo gets killed by an enemy, does that enemy get a tile? Yes. If, if, if I'm killed by an enemy, the enemy gets a tile. And I have to, they have to place down the tile and then their adventure begins. Okay, I missed. How the f*** did those two shots miss? Can someone go back and slow down the footage? Skill issue? Yo, Red Stig, Stag, do you want to come over here and fight me? Or do you want to stand over there? Oh, are you... Are you I thought he was squaring up. He made he made all the noise and everything. Like he was gonna start fighting me. Oh oh okay. All right. Come on then. You wanna sit there and shout your shit? Come here. That's what I thought, dude. We got free tiles. That's great. Oh my god, you're pissing me off. Go away. You made me use all my ammo now. Good job, dude. All right, chat. We're gonna start expanding. We're gonna start expanding in this direction. Progress. Okay, this dog is actually annoying me with how hard it is to kill. Shit. All right, well, that's a that's a gifted sub right there. So that's great. I fell off the fucking thing. <laughs> so it was around about this time that I had the idea of killing off settlers in Sanctuary. And in order to do that, I need, well, settlers. And the only way to do that is to recruit them using the recruitment beacon. Now, unfortunately, one of the resources needed for a recruitment beacon is that of crystal. And there is only one spawn point for that in Sanctuary. 
and that's in the cellar. So after getting it first try, we built the recruitment beacon and, well, we started farming settlers. Oh, shit, we got it. All right, let's build our recruiting station. There we go. Look at that. Right, here's the bell. Do I have anyone here? We have one person in Sanctuary and I, I think it's Codsworth. Oh, <gasps> hello. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, dude. Um, what do we do with him? Should I keep him as a pet? Can we trade a few things? Of course. He just gave me his weapon. God, this guy really wants to make it easy for me. Oh my god, his health. Oh, he's fighting back. Oh, he's got some he's got some fight in him. Oh, you think he could take on the tile man in his own environment, huh? The tile system? <laughs> in the arms of an angel fly away. Okay. We got his ammo. We got his weapon. It's kind of what's important right now. We have two weapons now. Oh, another settler. Hey bro, just just go there, man. You're good. Okay, I'm just gonna melee him. I'm gonna rob him. He's killing me. He's actually killing me. There's no way I lose to settler number one. Oh! Please don't run away. He made it harder for himself. So basically, we have this recruitment beacon that's just gonna keep recruiting people that we kill. I mean, actually, I can fast travel to Vault 111 because the, 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 the tiles are right there. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, so that's an extra sub. I'm gonna have to build a pathway to the fast travel point, which is there. I owe you guys a sub. This is taking forever! Can you use the cage to farm tiles? I can. Yes. Uh, we'll see if we can craft any cages. Uh, we can build an insect cage. Should we do these? Why not, right? How much does this generate? Three? Okay. Well, we kill them all. We kill them all, right? So we get the meat. We use the meat to get insects and we get more. I think it's working out, chat. Hell yeah! Don't worry, you're fine. I won't bother you. No, no, you're fine, dude. Chat, we've made it on top of the hill. Holy shit, we're making progress. This challenge run's actually working out. We're making, we're getting there. Civilization. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, rag stag, rad stag. Yeah, you're good, bro. Don't worry about you. I think I'm wasting ammo. I say we go this way. We split this path this way because there's raiders over this hill and I would like to kill them. We should rename the red stag. So what do you want to call her? Skippy. Love you, Skippy. We'll call her Skippy. What's up, Skippy? How you doing? All right, see you later, Skippy. All right, nice. We're in range where I don't have to shoot anymore. That's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. There's a, there's a magnum over there. There's a, there is a magnum over there, and over this hill, there's a bunch of enemies. Once we have this, we literally should be getting like eight kills per uh, reset. And then we're golden. Oh, we got two settlers. Oh, the insects of... Oh, Chad, the insects. What the fuck? Help! <laughs> that is bull... That, that's not fair. Did you just take my kill? Really, dude? You just take my kill. I think the other settlers killed the other insect. Please. Dude, the, the pistol's right there. Come on. Bro. Do you guys see it? Summer shots. Can we take the summer shots? <laughs> You know, I didn't really expect it to look that shit. I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I think I'm just gonna go back. Oh, it's too charisma, actually. I'll keep it for whenever I have to vend with someone. Okay, there's a bunch of raiders around this corner. There they are. Oh my god. <laughs> this is actually kind of scary. This is the first bit of actual combat we've had. Oh, we got one. I guess the extra tiles? I don't know though, because we don't really get any ammo from them. But the tiles might help us get close to them. Build over there. All right, mid combat building, let's go. Right. Uh, we didn't get the loot, but we got the, the tiles. Any builders? We like Fortnite, we like Fortnite. All right, this is the direction we want to go in for actual progress, and that's the direction we want to make for tile progress. Oh, insects are being caught. Let's do that as well. Oh, there's a guy at Sanctuary too. All right, 
I think my settlement system's bugged. Oh, nope, never mind. They just went releasing. <gasps> oh. He's bugged out. Good one. Yeah, these insects have got to go. All right, let's just kill it. If any of these guys could take my kill, I'm going to be so angry. <gasps> Wait! 44 rounds respawn every time, and so does the snub nose. Oh my god, and so does the Radaways. So after clearing out the mole rats and eventually getting enough tiles to make it all the way east to the raiders and their small little camp, we can use these guys to farm kills for tiles, but also to get their weapons and armor for loot. But more importantly, they drop ammunition. Just wanted to trade a few things. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. All right, don't you dare make a fuss about this. Hey, big boy, come over here. I got a present for you. Like, see, we're getting quite a lot of tiles now. We have nine available. This is actually going really well. I'm surprised at how decent this entire challenge run has been. Ooh, this dog's went a different way. Where's he going? Is he going after the ray? No, you better not kill Skippy. Yo, leave Skippy alone, man. Come here. Come here. Save Skippy. I'm trying. He's This guy's a slimy bastard. Come here. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Pull out your gun and shoot it. No, we're saving ammunition. Go on. Dude, leave him alone. Who's Skippy's getting just run down? God damn, Skippy ain't gonna survive the night yet. I think he's dead. Think you can hide? <laughs> okay, we, I say we go from Red Rocket from here. Do, 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 do. How many tiles till the game crashes? Okay, I actually don't know if the game can handle how many tiles the game can handle, so we'll uh, we'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. Ooh, mysterious red container, chat. Let's have a look what's inside the chest. Duct tape. And... <gasps> we don't have any, any like, hunting rifle or sniper rifle or anything. But the ammo box is going to be useful. And the, if they reset, that'll that'll be great. So this is another point in the run where I get to show off how grueling and kind of tiresome it can be. Because in order to get the red rocket, I have to go through so many farming cycles. But eventually, after killing off so many enemies and getting, well, so many tiles, I was able to pave my way all the way to red rocket and finally say hello to dog meat. Chad, I swear to God, we're going to get red rocket done today. I can't believe it. With all this work, what we've done is essentially drew a line like this that goes all the way over there, then comes back here. <laughs> That's it. And we have how much map? <laughs> I thought this challenge room would take like three days. So this is the progress we've made so far. Look at that, dude. Damn, we've we've came so far. All right, look at this chat. This is what we've ooh, what we've tiled so far. This is mad. Look at this. We started at Vault 111. We started up here at Vault 111. We we tiled a pathway down and across into Sanctuary. This is the path we've got. We unlocked the secret little uh, hidden bunker around the back, and then we swerved our way through all the way through Sanctuary across the river uh, the, the dog spawns there up here we have a bunch of mole rats raiders spawn over there and then we have a pathway that gets all the way back to red rocket look at that as you can see the the pathway we've carved out is quite something you can kind of see it look at that that's mad actually quick question oh my god can you quit spawning jesus christ if i kill the mole rats atop here right like here they don't spawn underground do they i can't remember if they do i'm gonna see if i can get to concord and do the museum of freedom quest and you might be thinking that shouldn't take too long this entire playthrough takes ages with tiles it's like this this process is just whew, draining you guys don't understand is such a slow process this entire thing is like intentionally really slow <laughs> but it's it's actually quite fun oh yeah by the way people that don't know we uh we killed dog meat so we get the extra tile it was worth it 
don't think he wants anything to do with us now. Considering he's dead. <laughs> All right, so this is fine. This counts, right, chat? We all agree. So at the start of day two, I decided to actually go into the mole rat den. I wasn't going to do it at first because I thought it'd be a waste of tiles, but it turns out it actually wasn't because the enemies there actually respawn every three days, which is beneficial to us because that's just extra tiles that we can loot. Oh, we found Concord! Chat, we made it to Concord. This is huge. Look, I can touch the speed limit sign. I touched it. Now we have to go all the way back. I mean, this is good progress. Uh, it does mean I can fast travel to Concord, but I don't have any tiles there when I land, so I'd have to gift subs every two seconds. Hey, bro. Give me this. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Go on. You can leave. I'll give you another chance. You monster. <laughs> <gasps> dog meat! Yeah, I didn't kill dog meat. I lied. No! He despawned! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's probably dead now. All right, here we go, boys. Well, we kind of made it. I can, I can see them. I, I hit one of them. <gasps> He's coming over! I'm so excited. He's coming over. I'm so nervous. What do I do? Do I kiss him? Oh, it's a girl. Ugh. Never mind. You leveled up too. You have one hour left at work. Can you kill a death claw by then? No, it ain't happening, chief. All right, come on, get up. Speed run it for them? What, you want me to speed run me getting to the to the death claw in the next hour? Chat, I think it's time we did a we did a prediction. I'm full steam ahead if we're going to make this happen. I'm a full I'm full steam ahead. I'm just going to farm them and then I'm going to get to I'm, we're just going to do the quest. We're just going to full steam ahead and see if it works. Through the non-stop grind of just killing off enemies for tiles, we actually managed to get some pretty good loot, but it was time to head towards Concord. And fortunately for me, well, I remembered to clear out the mole rats from underneath Red Rocket. And with a few extra runs of farming enemies, we were close. We get into Concord today, boys. Yeah, right down the fucking street, boys. How did that miss? Jesus Christ. Oh, I bet you guys are actually angry. I'm gonna put one and then two there. Holy shit, dude. The aim is so bad. I don't know what's going on. Intense combat section. See, my aim isn't that bad. Please, my money. I'm taking my time. I'm walking fast and face is past and I'm homebound. But dibba 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 and you guys can get over it. There's 12 minutes left and I'll take my sweet ass time. Yeah, we finally made it to Preston. All the way to Preston. Please stop. Thank you. If I overdose Mama Murphy, do I get a tile? I guess there's only one way to find out, isn't there? If I exit an interior cell and I'm outside, I touch the ground. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. There's no way that counts. There, look, I put down my tile. You would say it counts? Wait, so you're, tell you're telling me because I've had to go through this that I owe you guys a gifted sub? Do you not understand what I've been through? Okay, I owe you guys two because he stepped off. <laughs> he stepped off. Okay, it is very hard, by the way, so I do have to be kind of careful. Let's get this done, boys. Let's go! He just despawned. Come on, take some damage. I don't think the I don't think the death claw can path to me. <laughs> is this cheating? I don't think the death claw can properly path. Death claw, woohoo! Come here. Oh, here he is. He's back. You can get on here. It's like an inch, man. Ah! Ah! Please! Back off! I'm warning you! Woo! We did it! These guys, do these guys respawn every time? Oh, they do. How did that... How did I fucking miss that shot? There was two of them just stood there. God, I'm so bad at video games, man. 
when I played a game of Battle Bit with like Juve and Mickey D, and they can vouch for me. I was really good. Like, we played right, and I, I did so well. I, I was like 40 kills, 10, 15 deaths. And they're like, oh my god, you're so good. I think they genuinely thought I was bad at games because they watched this stream. Wait, wait, isn't he like live right now? One sec. I'll, I'll get proof for you guys. Was I really good at Battle Bit? Answer, come on, stop focusing on the game and just answer the question I asked. Please, look at the chat, Juve. 72. Bro! We're all right. I'm gonna be sick. He's ignored me. All right, I'll go back in like five minutes. Oh, wait. Oh, Jabbo is in the chat. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I hope your stream went well, Jabbo. It's, I'm still live, dumbass. Come on. Was I really good at Battle Bit? Please, I need my chat to believe me. Oh, no, Jabbo was cracked at Battle Bit. If Jabba yes! doesn't believe him. Thank you. And that's from a respectable member of the community, unlike me. He's a paid actor. He's not a paid actor. He's pretty cool. And he doesn't have shit aim like me. I didn't pay him off. Okay, you can't pay off Juve. Do you not understand? Sometimes when you play a game over and over again, you kind of forget about these mundane things existing. I mean, who the fuck remembers the Concord access tunnels, right? But there I was. I forgot that they existed and... My chat was sat telling me about them, which is quite beneficial to me because when I was exploring the Concord Tunnels, I was reminded of Gorski's Cabin. And you might not know what Gorski's Cabin is, but it's a small little cabin just a little bit west of Concord that has ghouls in it. And ghouls are quite important because they're one of the only enemies in the game to have a completely unlimited loot pool. Now, I don't mean they're going to drop insane weapons or anything like that. It just means that they're going to drop any type of junk item that's available in the game, which is really good for us because it means that we can access almost any resource in the game now by farming these ghouls over and over again. Well, we're close. We're very close to the ghouls. We don't really need the location. We don't need to get inside. We just need the location of the ghouls. So now that we're here, that's pretty good. This is going pretty well, though. Look at this. We got our tiles down. Who are you? You know what I call a good day? We got an extra tile. <laughs> Back to it. Skippy, can you get the fuck out of here? This is my pathway, man. Go. Why does he look like a dog? <laughs> oh, the flopper cat. Yeah. I'm not gonna kill him, it's Skippy. We love Skippy. So after another grueling grind of farming tiles, I finally made my way to Trash Can Carla, which is fortunate because she doesn't actually activate until you talk to her. So with her now being a traveling merchant, she will come to Sanctuary a lot more and sell us goods. And fortunately for me, right next to her is Drumlin Diner. So we just unlocked two vendors in one go, which is useful if they sold good weapons, which they don't. All right, so we've made it quite far uh, so far. I think we're doing a pretty good job. Let's see, can we snipe the Wolfgang guys from here? Wait, who are you fighting? Oh my god, wait, can I farm them? Is this illegal? I'm using an illegal technique. Oh, this is cheating. Okay, I'm not gonna do this for long. Deserved. I deserved that. Well and truly, I did. Wake up, boys! This is like Groundhog Day. We are like farming the same enemies over and over again. I love how these raiders wake up to death every single day. Oh shit, I might be- Oh, I fell off, I fell off. I owe you guys a sub. You fell off a long time ago, buddy. <laughs> okay, let me give this sub. All right, we have a good pathway going. We've kind of made it to Drumlin Diner. I haven't even discovered the location, but we're nearly there. I want to at least get to Drumlin Diner today. We've not done much progress, but honestly, we have at the same time because we've made it to two vendors now, which is kind of big. Two vendors is a significant amount. Look at this, chat. We're moving. Look at this. This is amazing. Holy shit. We're actually going places. Let's do like an intense turn like this. Yeah. Oh, I'm so close. <laughs> yeah, this is mad. What a way to play the game. This is actually crazy cool. But yeah, this is cool. It gives you like a visual representation of how like we've kind of spread it out. Kind of like the CS2 smoke. How like we've crawled through all of these like little pathways and stuff. It is pretty cool. 
Come here, are they, are they, are they mugging you off like that? They're just shooting you. A single raider. All right, let's get back to it, chat. We gotta reset some enemies. Also, in order to reset the enemies, I have to go all the way into Vault 111. Wait, uh, leave Vault. It, it's a, it takes a while. Dude, get off the, t I need a, you, this is my, this is on my tile, Sturges. Get off. You are kidding me. He refuses to move. Oh shit, dude! He's popping off! <laughs> Did you know like how like researchers or whatever have said that if you play Mozart for your child while they're asleep, they'll become smarter? Obviously that's just a lot of bullshit, right? But what happens if you put my stream on while your child sleeps? Think they become stupid? The child does a flip. They become a rant. They're br they have brain death. <laughs>
What the fuck? You know. Oh, we discovered Lexington. I don't know where the fast travel point is for Lexington at all. Should we go clear this out now? What do you guys think? Should we go into should we go in here now and clear it out now? Surely like we Oh my god, which Oh my god. <laughs> Chat, you guys don't understand. He has a fat man. I got him. He's dead. I feel like everyone died to that fat man once. Like that fat man killed killed you once, right? It had to. Let's go clear out uh super duper mud. So we have to clear out this place. I have no shotgun ammo. Holy shit, he was right there. Ooh, mining helmet. I don't have a helmet right now, do I? Yeah, let's take that then. Oh my god, the mining helmet. I completely forgot that it has like this really annoying... Hit by light. Oh! Wait! <laughs> That's so shit. Oh, what a waste of time. Shoot it. This place has been a very, very worthwhile adventure. Not gonna lie, this has went pretty well. Is there any more? There are so many. Do they just keep spawning? I feel like they don't stop spawning. Because I swear I checked this corridor. That's 30 ghouls, 20, 25-ish ghouls. What's the worst candy known to man? Reese's. Yep, I said it. <gasps> no! All right, let's go see if the inside of uh, Super Dupe Mutt is refreshed. Ooh. Here in the wild, we can preserve and watch as the ghouls... Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Hello? Did one of them have a gun? Oh, is that a trap? Please tell me that was a trap. They don't have guns now. Oh my god, my aim is so shit. Oh, we've kind of like startled the entire nest, haven't we? Isn't there like a ton of them? I'm wasting- I'm wasting tiles doing this, but I want it to look nice, okay? Because I want to have the entirety of the college square. But yes, I want the entirety of this place tiled. Why? I don't know. I want college square. Holy shit, we're so close to Diamond City. Oh my god! Yeah, there we go. That's nice and smooth. Look at that! I'll even show you guys what it looks like from above. We made it to college square, boys. That's pretty cool. Bro! Skippy! Chillax, man! Kill Skippy? Never. Skippy is like a child to me. How many subs to kill Skippy? You couldn't give me enough. Kill Skippy for a Snoob- Scooby snack? Yeah, a Ruby rack? Oh. Right. We could probably try and make it into, into the- to the train station. It's not a bad idea. I kind of want to tile out the entirety of College Square though. And I don't know why. Do not knock me off the tiles. Oh my god, is this gonna work? I need to be able to get up and down this. I think I managed to make it work. Okay, can I just explain one thing to you guys? This is exactly why I don't do tiling on the interior cells. Because this is what it would be like. It, a mess. <gasps> oh! We got an upgrade. We got the short combat shotgun. We can drop Blunderbussy. Out of here. Combat shotgun is huge. I come in peace. Yeah, shotgun's pretty good. Exactly what we needed. Combat OC, is that what we're gonna call this one? I will call this Combat OC when I get the chance. All right, chat, that's my promise to you. My certified freak seven days a week promise, okay? It's a very exclusive promise, I don't break. You guys proud of me? <laughs> what a waste of tiles. Look at that. College Square is mine. All mine. Me, me, me. All me. <laughs> Oh, 
hello. Oh my god, they're all down. Oh my god, they're all down. Help. Holy shit. God damn. Right, let's keep this this ball rolling. Let's, let's keep on trucking. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> he went for a sit down. The guy <laughs> Are you all right, buddy? Are you okay? You, I, don't, I don't think he is. He was tired. He, oof, this all this shit's exhausting. Good progress. We have officially made it out of Lexington and through Cambridge. Look how close we are to Diamond City. Woo! Good progress today, boys. We're nearly at Diamond City. We're nearly at the city of diamonds. The great green jewel. We're so close, but yet so far. We've made it close to the MIT and the Cambridge Pol Polymer Labs. What, how you doing, Skippy? Good morning. Look how beautiful Skippy is, dude. What? Those two front legs are coming along, buddy. Good job. All right, let's go see if the interior crocodile alligator of Subdupmat is ready for us. Hello. Oh, you're alive, aren't you? All right, so we have a full Subdupmat to clear out, so that's fun. Oh my god, we got we got a we got a legendary. It's not bad. It's not good either. Good legendary. I didn't come here to see this. I'm on stubborn right now. <laughs> All right, let me do this real quick. I'm building myself a bridge, chat, so I have a killing platform. I missed. Watch this shot, chat. Oh! Okay. We're gonna kill this guy, and then we're gonna get across the river, and then we're gonna go to Crazy Street. Okay? I'm gonna show you guys what Crazy Street is. Trust me, you guys are not ready for this. Uh, all right, chat, so Diamond City is that way, which isn't too far away, but we're gonna go this way, and you'll see why as we do this. But uh, yeah, this is like, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're so close to Diamond City. God damn, we're so close. Is there any way to pay to win? Yeah, if you guys want me to get more tiles, go join my YouTube membership program, because nobody's joined it yet. I signed up for the YouTube membership. I made it $2 a month, which is quite low. For me, it's $1.99. Okay, I lied. It's $1.99, not $2. The prices are $2, $5, $10. Yeah, those, those are my tier 1, tier 2, tier 3s. The tier 1 gets nothing. Tier 2 gets a shout-out. Tier 3 gets a bigger shout-out. Tier 3 should get a custom poem. Okay, I'll make tier 3 like $100 a month, and then I'll give you a poem once a month. And the poem's just gonna be, Hello, thank you for giving me the, the $100. Good riddance, legendary ghoul Roma. Did we get a good legendary? Is it good? Is it good? That's actually good! It's... Better than the other one we have. Look, 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 look. We have two <laughs> revolvers. Dude, look at this. 25% more damage or 10% more damage while aiming. I don't want you. Get out of here. 10% more damage. Dude, I want 25%. Are you? Excuse me. Sir. Right. That was weird. <laughs> Make the music more musicy. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, dude. Is that what you want? Chat, should we text? Should we tile out above them so I can kill them? I'm doing it anyways. I don't care. This is a waste. I want you to know that I'm wasting tiles. Is he still underground? Bro, you gotta be shitting me. You can't stay underwater, man. Dude, let's go. What is a tile? It is usually a porcelain or ceramic object that you place on a wall or on the floor, which is usually used to guard that wall or object or floor from any uh, types of damages or temporary damages known as water damage and stuff like that. All right, we're gonna go to the right here. But before that, we said I said I'd go to Kaverga, didn't I? All right, let's go, boys. We're tiling. We're doing the job. All right. The floating tile is weird to allow. Wait, do you guys not like the floating tiles? I mean, the floating tile should be fine. I'm just gonna make it to the front, round there. 
It's fine. I like it. It's Fortnite, chat. People love Fortnite. Right? Let's do like this. And then let's do like that. We'll go clear out the basement section of this first because the basement section has a shit ton of enemies. If I can hit you. Yeah, the basement section is definitely the best place to clear out. Isn't it ghouls? Yep. Thank you. I don't even know how I died. Target down, sir. Enemy spotted. Let's go! Come on, then. Where are you? You guys up there? Right, so more enemies should spawn as I come down. We could head to Diamond City right now, and I could probably make it in like the next hour, but we're gonna go this way. I've got a plan. Yeah, you guys don't understand, but I've got a plan. It's a very good plan, too. Go go visit Swan. No, he's dead to me. He cheated on me, Chad. I didn't want to tell you guys about it, but he cheated on me, so. All right, we're nearly there. We're going to make it to Crazy Street. Trust me, this street is crazy. All right, this is where all the crazy shit happens. You guys are not ready for this street. It's scientifically proven to be the craziest street on the planet. Oh, look, it's Crazy Street. So, this location in the game, just near Vault 80... 7, 9, 18, 97, has constant encounters happening. This street here, this this little gap here, this square, this has just so many, so many encounters. And yeah, we're gonna use this to farm kills a bit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, okay, okay. Laser rifle. Oh my god, this guy had everything. So I'm just going to tile out all the way here so we can kill everyone on the street. And then we'll turn right at the end of the street and go to Vault 80, whatever. 87? Is it 87? I don't know if this is good. Jesus. So this is a pretty consistent respawn point for a lot of enemies. Uh, also, I thought it'd be cool to go to Crazy Street. Let's get a move on, chat. We got places to go, places to be. All right, that should be enough. All right, boys, we made it to Vault 81. Let's go get Overseer's Guardian, the most OP weapon in the game. There it is, 18 grand, 1800, <laughs> not, 18, not 18 grand. All right, boys, we're gonna make our final push towards uh, Diamond City. All right, we didn't make it all the way to Diamond City, but we are pretty close. We made it to one of the signs. Oh yeah, why have these guys got names? Does anyone know? What's the law? Okay, why, why, why is there a Mrs. Rosa? Oh my god. It's your neighbors. What? They're your neighbors from Sanctuary? The question on everyone's minds, will I make it to Diamond City today? Or will we suffer outside in the cold? Is 50 enough? I think it should be enough. Come on, boys. We're so close. Uh, please, I beg. Just get me to the finish line. I'm so close. We did it, chat. But I want to have this entire area covered, so we're going to go back and do some more farming. We have officially made it to Diamond City. Look at this. But unfortunately, I have no tiles, so we can't get in yet. So we're going to we're gonna go do some other things first, and then we'll, we'll come back. One more run. I think, I think one clear out of Concord should be enough tiles to get to Diamond City. We made it to Diamond City. I don't think I'm gonna make it far into Diamond City. All right, we now have entrance into Diamond City and we also have the outside of Diamond City sorted. Woo, look at that, chat. You guys wanna have a look from the sky? This is what it looks like. Woo, look at that. All the way down too. Yeah, we're basically playing the Fallout board game. Yeah, true. I think this is pretty good for video one, if you ask me. 20 hours in. I think this is pretty good. We've made it all the way to Diamond City, and here we are. So we've managed to, you can see kind of like where our path lies, and it goes like from this all the way down. But yeah, we've managed to make it all the way down like this, all the way to Diamond City. This has actually been pretty good. 
I quite like this challenge run. I think this is going pretty well, and uh, we're making good progress. So there it was. We finally made it all the way to Diamond City after roughly 20 hours of placing down tiles. Personally, I think this challenge is quite fun, and I really enjoyed doing this. And if you'd like to see more of it, and if you'd like it to become a series, then make sure to let me know down below. I could make the end goal that of actually finishing the game. Recently, I did actually open up my YouTube membership tab, so if you want to financially support the channel, then make sure to check it out. If you donate at least $5 a month, you can have your name at the end credits of a video just like this. So say hello to all the sexy names in the video. As always, more content to come real soon, and I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys next time.